Ladies and gentlemen, this is the power of a level 100 ultra juggernaut and we are going by the end of this video past degree or level I guess 1000. It's not a paragon. I can't have degrees But first we have to start off with a little baby spike pole and work our way all the way up to these crazy tiers But that is exactly why we are on balance because I believe that we can actually solo this entire hard mode and beyond With only our freaking spike pole because he does two damage. You know what I mean? Like that's pretty good and he Bounces. He's got that little re rebound going on. I almost said reverb. But before I get that juggernaut, you know, you got to do your due diligence to hit that like button and hit that smash button or whatever. Just hit all the buttons, man. What are you doing? I want to go for our first banana farm before I even go for anything else. Because I don't know if you guys know, but this guy's freaking expensive. So let's get down banana farmer. This guy will save us all the stress of having to hover our mouse over a square. Now, if I'm going to be honest, this is kind of risky. Getting up a farm with just a 300 dart monkey that's kind of not a good play at all but that's exactly why you've subscribed let's get greater production let's go all right honestly i think i can chill out on the farms a 200 isn't a lot but it's a lot of money and we're already starting to lose a couple of lives not a lot but you know a little can turn into a lot pretty damn quickly so let's go for our juggernaut we lost two whole lives how will i survive and uh now we just save up for more and more farms like that's all we can do here just more and more farms for our boy gerald that's his new name i made it myself that deserves some freaking sunglasses let's go baby i kind of like desperately need this ultra juggernaut bro because i'm not gonna lie the regular juggernaut sucks so i'm thinking these two banana farms are probably gonna sell for like 2400 dollars each so this is like 4800 bucks so if i could just save up another what ten thousand dollars or five thousand dollars what am i talking about like another four thousand dollars on top of what i have already i should be good to get our uh, ultra juggernaut and then we can start getting like the upgraded tiers but uh first we gotta leak a little bit and i guess i'm going for very quick shots i didn't know I was doing that. I'm actually not, so I have to go home. If anything, I should be going for enhanced eyesight so I don't have to leak the camos, although that takes from my money and I don't like it. All right, just a little more money, I think, and then we get banana salvage and freaking that one also. And I think we should be good to sell, sell, and barely get the ultra juggernaut. Ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. And this is exactly why I chose the map balance because every single time this juggernaut splits, it just goes all around. It splits everywhere and it destroys everything. We should be good against like a moab even in fact leave your guesses in the comments am i going to be able to beat this moab and if you haven't already leave a like let's see if we're able to actually handle this with just the ultra juggernaut he should do some extra moab damage too if i'm not mistaken oh yeah there we go we got it down i'll tell you what though for a fifteen thousand dollar upgrade and probably like a seventeen thousand dollar tower we didn't do that much damage so we got to get some farms up asap we got to get a banana plantation going or something because uh, your boy's broke and these upgrades look at this okay you can't 5,400 per freaking upgrade. That's a lot. That's too much even. But what am I going to do? Change it? So I'm hoping three banana plantations should be good to then lead into our first BRF, hopefully before like round 60, because I kind of need some upgrades before the BFB. Yeah, we just got to save up to like $10,000 and then I should be good to go for a BRF. And then from there, I should be good to go for upgrades. So let's give that a shot. BRF into valuable bananas, of course, because what else are you going to go? And now I can start saving up you know I, I can start getting some ascended strength maybe some speed in the mix if you don't know what force does that is range and pierce i think you should know what strength and speed do all right so let's go for some strength how about it we'll go for some strength we got a little level one here technically technically it's a tier six but we're gonna call it a tier one because you know clickbait purposes and really we're gonna be getting a thousand on every single one of these so you're gonna see it's gonna say x 1000 x 1000 x 1000 but for right now i don't know i think i'm gonna hold out on speed and force because i think we've got plenty of pierce on a juggernaut but we kind of need some strength yo we're a little bit weak so i think i'm just gonna buff out on strength as much as i physically can up until round 60 and i'll let you guys know uh how strong we are then i don't actually know how much it buffs it by the way so i don't know we could be doing no extra damage but i wouldn't even know all right round 60 is here and we've got him up to a level five i guess i'll get speed while i can and as you can see you know there's two little numbers now and they're very little indeed compared to what we're gonna do by the end of this video but let's see if we're able to take down a bfb without having to boost it with like powers and whatnot we're actually not doing that bad of damage i've definitely seen worse from a tower can we handle the four moabs inside though that is a lot i don't know if we're gonna be able to take that on but we get them all popped in oh my goodness the ceramics are like nothing holy crap a freaking ultra juggernaut is popping balloons who would have thought 
Let's get a little bit more ascended strength because we're starting to get these fortified mobs that I'm not really a fan of at all. And round 63 is coming up literally right now. We should be golden though because again, balance is the perfect map for this guy. And so while he dominates on the playing field, we will use our banana farms to make us money. The goal right now is really two BRFs. If I can handle that, which I have to save up like another $10,000 for. So hopefully this guy clutches up. I mean, he's living right now. But if I can handle that, I should be good to start going for like tier 10 on him. Like, all across and i don't think that'd be too shabby you know what i mean a 10 10 10 that's pretty freaking snazzy or whatever all right so let's sell and go for that second brf and now we should be good to be making a little bit more money a little bit better upgrades all the whatnot out of the wazoo and such i don't know what i'm freaking saying just give me more strength yeah i think my goal is just gonna be to get him up to 10 strength right now and then start working on the speed so that he's even faster while he does more damage so that he does more damage faster i've always been a mathematical mind Oh, we lost some lives. Actually, that's not awesome to see. You know, surprise, surprise. I'm not a big fan of that. And I'm also not a big fan of all of these Moabs over here. We should be fine, but damn, is that scary. Okay, we lost more lives somewhere, but let's get up some strength because we can. And now I'm just gonna focus heavy on speed. You know, speed is nice. It's nice to be fast. At least that's what I told your mom. Oh, great. We got freaking fortified BFBs now, bro. And we got a ZOMG coming up next round. What the hell? What is a man supposed to do? At least we can handle the fortified bfbs that does give me a good insight into how we're gonna treat this zomg on round 80 but uh, i guess we'll just say see for ourselves i know english we're breaking through that zomg layer pretty slowly if i'm being real but this guy's never been good at single damage you know what i mean he's always better at group damage and i think we should be able to handle these bfbs inside the moabs always scare me because they're freaking moabs and that's going way too far that's way too far dude oh my goodness you are freaking throwing almost but we get $88 freaking yippee let's get some more speed going how about that we should be clear to go for 10 speed yeah obviously we're going in like 25x speed because i'm impatient i don't want to wait for the money okay now we can start focusing on pierce and range and th that's it i was reading the rest it says capacity and range pierce buffs but this guy doesn't have either of those double zomg sucks but we do have more speed so we should be yeah we're clear but uh, i don't like it now i think the range is genuinely going to help because you know it's a big map matter of fact it's a full map worth of a map so having range across at least this entire circle should be helpful and he technically can see through here and here so that's cool once he gets full map coverage at least and he gets a little bit more pierce and my lives are tanking so i mean obvious answer is to go for like a marketplace because now we get one extra life per round yippee but really i just want a few of these guys with a little village discount because you can never save too much money unless you're shopping on like timu then you can probably save too much money. All right, so four of these guys should be good. We're getting four lives every round. That's not the worst in the world. It could be zero. Um, I don't like this, actually. I don't like this at all. No, we're just dead here. Okay. Well, so much for getting up my marketplaces. I guess I should have got up my money. Um, I, I wanted to get it to a 10, 10, 10, but it doesn't look like I have a choice. I've got to go for, like, strength or something. Like, he's just too weak in some department. Like, look at this, bro. Look at that. That's too much. I got to freaking continue again. Look at that. 7, 7, 7, though. We love God here. Let's get some more strength and... And, uh, maybe some more strength. Yeah, we'll get two more strengths. Hopefully this is enough. Okay, yeah, that is enough to do it. I'm not big on the number 13, but whatever. We'll get it up to 15. How about that? We'll get a tier 15 freaking ultra jug. Unless I die here, which, uh, who would have thought? You know what? We, we've got our lives. Let's sell the, the marketplaces and go for a 15 or just two extra upgrades. Okay. I didn't know things were that damn expensive. A 15, 11, 5. Is this enough to take on four ZOMGs? I don't think so. Oh my goodness. You know what? we're gonna do we're gonna cheat a little bit all right now if you know me i'm not one to cheat but like a banana central can't be that bad and an extra hundred thousand like that's basically nothing and by that like it's literally basically nothing it's gone in 10 upgrades but at least now we are definitely able to handle 94 right i mean we got some more speed going we got more pierce too you're joking you're joking okay you're throwing holy bro this guy's actually deliberately trying to give me a heart attack but the reason that i got the banana central up because now we can upgrade more money so let's do that let's get some ascended strength on him that is going to give us more money per freaking money and as you can tell it's completely worth it oh my goodness bro 250,000 really isn't a lot of money if you think about it and look at that now we can make a lot of money and now we can go over here and get uh i don't know more speed probably that's what he needs because the guy is actually slow as butts and let me tell you butts are slow we're on round 97 what happened i thought we were just on like round 10 
All right, well, I need more strength than I've ever had in my life, which really isn't that much. So yeah, I do need more. Maybe I need an extra little half a million dollar loan, just like a little thing, you know, like a little tiny thing. But it's an investment. It's an investment that I make to get a 40-20 banana farm. And there's already a BFB, okay. That's a BAD, not a BFB, and we need more speed. What about like this much speed? Speed. How about like, yeah, 45 speed. That's a lot, right? This is actually kind of dope though. He's like throwing them out like one after the other. I like this guy. I like this guy. He's pretty good once you upgrade him uh, 75 times in total. Can he even handle the BAD, bro? Oh my goodness, this guy's actually trash. We should be clear to pop it. Where did I lose half of my lives to? I don't even know. We should be clear to pop this. I want to see it like actually pop it in real time. Okay, there we go. We got it over with. Now the ZOMGs should be fine. Oh my goodness, that's not fine. Oh. Oh no, the BFBs. Oh no, the Moabs, the ceramics. Yes, we won. I only had to go a million dollars in debt. That's fine. I'll repay it later tenfold. But until then, uh, let's get some more strength on the banana farm. How about it? Because you really just can never have too much money in this game. Let's get up a monkey town too, because I think, or a monkey city rather, because that should have some profound effects on it. Hopefully I don't die to fortified ZOMGs, bro. Especially after beat. Okay, well, that's what I get for talking. I get another $500 down the gutter. I don't even think my house has a gutter. Okay, can I get, oh, wow, that is a lump sum. I I don't know what that term means, but it's a lot of money. So yeah, that's that. Let's get some more strength with it. How about that? We will invest it in more strength and more weapons and more damaging. If we can just get up like a 50-50-50, like that'll be cool. Holy crap, it's like a dream come true and I didn't even have to die this time for it. That is awesome sauce. So this 50-50-50 is honestly struggling more than it should for a 50-50-50, but we're just still gonna invest all of our money into our banana farm anyway. Because let's be real, what's the worst that could happen? I spent more monkey money it's a freaking marquee cd6 video that's exactly why you've liked and commented because i spend so much damn monkey money okay two bad's three three bad's is actually crazy on round 119 what are you even doing bro like what am i meant to do here i i can't get no upgrades i can't get no nothing i can uh i can get more speed i guess i can get a little bit more speed and hopefully this will turn the tide man so much for turning the tide this is just turning into a disaster maybe more money will do the trick more strength will do the trick as well also holy crap nothing more money cannot fix ladies and gentlemen don't don't, don't take that seriously what if i got a level 69 because it's like a funny number i got it to level 69 ha <laughs> ha He's still struggling, bro. This is actually bad. Can't believe I have to get this guy to a tier 1000. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Hopefully this banana farm clutches through. So far, he's made us about 8.7 million, which is pretty good, but it's also kind of chump change. And I still have to pay off my debt of $10 million. And if it gets to around 150, it might become 100 million. I don't know. I'm not the one managing it. All right, we're making good money though. Like we're making, yeah, 27,000 per crate is actually nutty. Let's go ahead and spend it on some more strength. I'm thinking in a tier 100 ladies and gentlemen you saw it at the beginning of this video we're about to get it now well i'm gonna try to i don't know if i have enough money well there you go i just don't but now i do at least for strength now i just gotta get it for its speed and also force all right just one more and we've got a 100 100 100 ultra freaking juggernaut this guy is doing more damage i mean you gotta give it to him Let's go ahead. Can I give him a village buff? Yeah, I just want to give him MIB because I don't know. I feel like he's not destroying these DDTs fast enough and it might be because he needs an MIB, but in retrospect, it's not. And I don't really know what the problem is. Maybe they're just buff. I mean, it's round 139. You know, the, the scaling for Moabs is absolutely stupid at this point in the game. And yeah, it's nice that I've got $1.7 million, but I'm also about to be $100 million in debt to you guys. So I got to pay that off at some point. But ascended strength on the banana farm. Oh my goodness, that is a fortified BAD. Who even put that thing there? Oh my goodness, bro. A hundred, a hundred, a hundred can't even be round 140. What do I even, what am I supposed to do here? Honestly, another 10 million in debt isn't that much. Let's see what 10 million in ascended strength looks like. Cause I know, yeah, it's a, it's 113, which is great, but it's still not close to a thousand. And also, um, we're still struggling. I mean, if $10 million actually lost on round 140, I probably would have quit my job. So, hey, maybe. Maybe I'm now, uh, maybe I'm now like $200 million in debt. I'll take it. Think about it. Donald Trump went through a lot of debt and now he's selling a pair of shoes. So it must be a good idea. All right, but now we're starting to make some money though. You see the 
millions coming up, you know what I mean? Like, we're making a little bit of cheese here. We're getting some speed up, too, because I think the faster this guy goes, it's just the better. We're going past a tier 200 because we already did with the, the damage, but I'm going to try to get 213, 200, you know, I'll do 215, and then 200, 200. I mean, I really don't know what the pierce is going to do. I know the range literally is not doing anything. But hey, who knows? Maybe it does something cool for us. And by the way, for those of you who think I'm not making my videos, I'm using a freaking auto clicker. Like, come on. You think when my hands are off the mouse, I'm not playing? I'm using a freaking auto clicker. You see me press the button. The hot key is literally three. Hey, look, I'll show you right now. I click it and then look at that. We're all out of money because it's an auto clicker. It clicks fast. Oh no, but that got us past 200 on oh, the worst YouTuber in the world. Leave a like and subscribe. <laughs> all right, well, we've got him at a tier 200 and honestly, he's not doing that bad. He does a lot of... Of, uh, of group damage, which makes sense. He's a freaking juggernaut, but he doesn't do a lot of solo damage, which makes sense. He's a freaking juggernaut. These BADs on round 156 are genuinely getting to him, and I'm not a big fan of that. Also, I upgraded Ascended Force uh, 66 times, as you can see on this banana farm. I don't think it helped at all, so pro tip to any of you that want to try this at home. The mods are always linked in the description, you know, with the, the owners and whatnot, because I love them very much. They make my channel possible. So thank you, modders. And uh, yeah, honestly, uh, I'm like 200 million dollars in debt right now. Ah, this is the face of a man 200 million debt. We just kind of cruise back. We relax. We chill. Did we really just die on 166? Are you joking? At least we're making a lot of money, but like what is even going on? Do I just got to get more speed or something? You got to be more faster? Well, that seemed to do the job pretty well. So we've got the damage past 300, which is pretty cool. We'll get it to 333 because that's one third of a thousand and it's not Illuminati stuff, bro. Chill. And let's just keep getting our ascended strength on the banana farm. We've got almost 600 right now, and I'm still in debt 200 mil. So I don't know. I guess maybe not everybody can be a good investor. I'm just waiting to get $100,000 per crate. Honestly, it's going up faster than I would have thought. I think we're right around the corner. Yeah, look at that. $100,000 per crate. That ain't too shabby. But my defense like actually is too shabby. I got to get more speed, I guess. I don't even know. Look at this guy. He's like spazzing out in the middle of the map. Yeah. Homie is hypersonic. You can't even look at him right. Look at the freaking, oh my goodness. You can see the rotation. It's like a corkscrew when he shoots out juggernauts. This guy's like actually hypersonic right now. That is crazy. All we can do is upgrade the damage. I feel like at this point, we might as well just slow down on the speed because he's, he's starting to shoot too much at once. But the damage, you could never have too much damage, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're getting to the point where three upgrades literally costs a million dollars and that's just too much money. I do wonder if I get a villain right here though i've already gone a village before okay it doesn't make these cheaper like i wished they would have although if i got a true sun god support sun god true sun god actually never mind i don't know oh wait i can put him here but then he's gonna sacrifice the freaking juggernaut okay we gotta do a little bit of renovating i gotta move this freaking idiot guy you gotta get moved over here for right now pal and then i gotta get this bad boy over here what are you even doing brother go pick up the dude i just used the ability on you put this guy over here get a freaking um a support guy over here get the spike factory and everything or whatever i guess this guy because i can't fit a spackery then make sure this guy does no damage i don't want him to do any damage whatsoever then we move this guy back uh in the middle if i can find where he was we put him like right there does this affect anything oh my goodness it might have wait does it let's move it back out again oh it does it makes it like two thousand dollars cheaper ladies and gentlemen that's huge and we lost but 43 million dollars we lost all right well now that we've got the support true sun god on this freaking guy you know what let's just go ahead and buff him because why would we not buff him perma brew over here uh freaking village can i fit it there is it too fat no i can fit it here if i try hard enough oh crap but i kind of need two villages though low key what if i get creative what if i get like a primary expertise and then this and then i get a whole bunch of range does this actually work holy crap it does Dude, j just call me a genius already. Like, what? No one else is thinking of this. Get a freaking ultra boost on this guy. Oh my goodness, it's over. This guy's probably still gonna find a way to do a little bit of damage. Yeah, whatever. This guy is gonna do 200 damage. I don't really care about that. I don't think Brew's getting many hits, nor is the engineer. Look at this guy, bro. Okay, now, now he's starting to do the real damage. Okay, I can get rid of this helicopter, by the way. This is what I'm talking about. A 604 by 200. 98 by 202 freaking ultra juggernaut that ladies and gentlemen is america 
for those of you who don't live in America, it's whatever your country is. Now let's spend all of our money on more strength. Okay, not that much more. We got to level 800. I was hoping we'd get to 1,000. Let's put auto star back on, by the way. I don't know why I turned that off. And now we're just gonna take a little bit of a moment to chill. As you can see, there's literally no balloons on screen. I don't know what happened when buffing him so much, but apparently he just became absolutely stacked. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna recline the chair and I'm gonna chill. It's not something I get to do often on this channel. All right, well, we've officially gotten the banana farm to tier 1,000 before the dart monkey, but that doesn't mean we can't get the dart monkey to tier 1,000. And we're going for 1,000, 1,000, 1,000 on all three of the tiers. That's gonna be stupid. Especially this one. The speed is gonna suck for my computer. So one thing I think I've learned about this mod is it's so much less laggy to just rake up as much money as you can and then do your upgrades. So uh, if it's not too late, I think I owe you guys like $200 million. So just give me a little bit. I'll fork up the money, you know, cough it up like a cat's hairball. And I think we should be good, Cooper. All uh, right, look at that, 205 million, look at that, I'm getting extra money in there for you, now, uh, now I just have to waste it also, zero cash, from 225 million to zero, and all the way back up to 10 million, baby, because that's just how we do! And just like that, my 200 mil is 400 mil. Let's go ahead and spend, 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 baby, like a woman that's addicted to shopping. Just one more upgrade, and we got 1,000 strength on this bad boy. Now I have 702 speed and 798 pierce to go. To say I'm excited is an overstatement, but let's freaking get the pierce up because at least that's easy. Maybe I gotta turn off auto start for this. Just a little bit more, and I've got more pierce than I'll ever know know what to do with and we might get more now i'm not looking forward to this and we're not even gonna get it up to a thousand so yeah i'm just gonna go one more round make some money just enjoy it while it lasts ladies and gentlemen lag free more or less okay i say that and it just lags like it's doable gameplay you know it's not that laggy it gets stupid sometimes but it's not that bad but this is round 225 by round 226 it is gonna get bad all right one more and ladies and gentlemen we have the 1000 1000 1000 dart monkey freaking not looking forward to pressing play here but let's just go ahead and do it three two one uh okay yeah it's not that bad honestly it's not that bad it's been worse it's a lot but it's not that bad it's actually kind of impressive like he's shooting that much and it's not even lagging that much that's kind of a testament to how rich and beautiful and awesome that i am as a person i mean honestly we seem to be pretty good here all right let's put this guy on like uh, a harder round or something i don't know we'll try like round 300 how about that all right th this really don't look that much different it's like the same as the last one although the fortified bad's are getting through a lot more all right let's move it to like 340 how about that? We'll move it to 340, see if we're able to survive this. Okay, that's a fortified BAD. That is the furthest I've seen a balloon make it since we got this tier 1000. So maybe we can actually take down round 400. It feels like it's gonna be a struggle. It might even be more than a struggle. That is a lot of juggernauts. Oh my goodness. Oh, but I think we've got enough damage. Okay, we're bursting through these F bads. This isn't that bad. Oh my goodness. We might actually be round 400 with a freaking single ultra juggernaut. I mean, boosted B beyond comprehension, but still, an ultra juggernaut nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, round four freaking hundred, baby, and we get a beast handler, of course. You know what? Why not, bro? Funny number, funny number. Okay, instantly died? 